Okay, so I'm doing quite possibly one of the scariest things I've ever done in terms of food. Uh, I'm going over Hot Diggity Dog uh, in Barry. Uh, it's a local chili company. They produce their own chili sauces and they do once a month a chili challenge. They've just invested in a in a hot dog uh, shop. It's called Sausage Revolution. And each month they pour some crazy chili sauce over a hot dog and they've invited me over to try it out so let's go let's go okay so we've made it over to sausage revolution let's get in there and speak to the owner mr simon llewellyn let's uh, let's do a bit of walking backwards here and catch him. Any Is trouble? It? How are you doing, Simon? How you doing, mate? You're all right. right. Good to see you, mate. Yeah. Are Thanks you ready? for the invite. I am ready. Yeah, yeah. Film the intro. Um, here. A little bit nervous, but don't but be, don't be, don't be. Uh, the last text I had from one of my guys last night, the guy who did the chili challenge, was he was cuddling himself naked in the shower for 15 minutes. Really? And felt really rough afterwards. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna visit him in hospital later. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. So I know you're setting up, but I, I, I like to catch. Catch people kind of, kind of off guard, if you like. Quickly tell me about Hot Diggity Dog, um, your, your love of chilli. Hot Diggity Dog, I started that oh, many, many years ago on a submarine making sauces. Uh, you put uh, a potato into some foil, uh, chop it into the main engine throttles on a submarine. You've got a lovely jacket potato with some butter and some cheese or mash trap and slide, as they call it. Yep. I used to make a bit of sauces and put the sauces in there. Went on for years and years in the Navy, became an oil and gas engineer, traveling around the world, fixing rigs and ships. Uh, found out I was going to be a dad in 2009, didn't want to be away anymore, so I yeah. thought, what can I do to keep me at home? Yeah. I thought, well, why not turn the sauce I used to make into a commercial business and try and keep me here? So yeah. that's what we did in 2009. Nine years later, I've got a very cheeky nine-year-old boy, Yeah. and it's kept me at home. Uh, and a hot dog business. And a hot dog business as well, yeah. The um, Dragon's Den two years ago, he didn't get any investment, but I, um, I got invited to design a very hot chili sauce for... Uh, Alf Turner's Butchers, which is one of Peter Jones's investments. Okay. If you go to Waycock Cross, I've seen them this morning actually, uh, Dragon's Eggs. Um, he makes meat uh, with a very hot sauce and wraps it around eggs and you get a very hot Scots egg called a Dragon's Egg. Okay. Uh, right, I'll that, try that sauce <laughs> is our sauce that we make in the factory just around the corner. Okay. We started giving it to butchers, butchers start putting it to sausages, and the idea starts turning from here and Bang. next thing you know, we've got the sausage revolution. Lots of burgers, lots of chicken, lots of pizzas. No sausages. Now we got sausages. Let's get started. All right, mate. So just being handed a disclaimer: the food is going to be so hot, I have to sign my life away for the Dante's Inferno Challenge at the Sausage Revolution. Signed. Yeah, I'm a little. I'm really nervous now. <laughs> so just prepping the chili. We're just about ready to go. But Simon, show us the fork that was used to mix up the, the, the chilli? Well this is the chef's prep fork, I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of a little bit melted. It looks like the chef's hand at the minute actually. So the chilli's that powerful, it's, it's, it's just bent, bent plastic on the on the. Fork. It'll melt the plastic, yeah. So, for newer viewers out there, explain if you went to a supermarket, you picked up a regular chilli sauce off the supermarket yourself, is it a numbers thing? And then, and then how, how much more is chili, this Dante's challenge? There's, there's an old fashioned uh, scale that you measure chili on. It's called the Chauvin scale. Okay. So one part water, one part chili. So you keep the one part chili and you keep adding one part water until you can't feel any hilt. Right. So the normal sauce, you do the original pepper sauce. Uh, it's around about 100, 150,000 on the Chauvin scale. So 150,000 parts water to equal part chili until you can't taste it. Tabasco is about 80,000. Uh, some of the chilies we're using in this are well over a million. A million? A million. Wow. Part of the chili is the, um, you've got the Carolina Reaper, you've got some Naga powder, the Reaper itself is 1.2 million. 1.2 million. Compared to a, a Tabasco, which was 80. 80,000, yeah. 80,000. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. So it, that's like 80 times, is it? A little bit more than that, 10 times. 10 times. Okay. Let's get in, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Uh, Simon, what's the bin for? Uh, in case you decide to excavate your stomach, mate. Really? Yeah. In case I spew it. Wow. Okay, we got some milk. Uh, the challenge is 5 minutes 47. It's a 7 minute challenge. Probably not going to do it, but we'll have a go. Let's go. 
Let's do it. Oh my goodness me, what? Max, what's the mask for? Just come and sit down. What's, what's the mask for? Unfortunately, he's not allowed to speak. In the evenings, we have the twig. But in the mornings, we have the twig. Left. Like Top Gear. Has like to Top speak. Gear. He's not allowed to speak. You're not allowed to speak. Oh my goodness me, well, look at this. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna. Right, it's just seven minutes on the clock. Can you tell me when you're ready? Let's go! Right, the seven minutes on, good luck. <laughs> it's all over my fingers. Right. Just pick it up, I suppose, is it? The best way of doing it, I think, is, the, um, is to eat the chilli first, then pick up the dog afterwards. Right. So, Julia, we can give you an extra fork. Don't kick in straight away. Now the heat will start to kick in. All yeah. You, all you do is you start compounding it now the more you eat. Somebody told me not to um, ooh, um <laughs> some somebody told me not to um chew the chili, just swallow it. Swallow it, just walk Don't down. chew it. Yeah, walk it down as much as you can. It's not bad. It's a nice tasting chili. Mm. It's just the heat that starts kicking in. Ooh. Ooh. It's a minute. A minute in. What's the what's the red ones? That's that red jalapenos. Over there, you got seven minutes to do it. Right. You got three minute wait for the, before you can have the milk. It's getting hot, gotta be honest. It's getting Whoa! Hey, Jeff, it's gonna soon. Hicker! Yeah, yeah. Want some bread? Oh! Jeez, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Get some sausage, maybe that'll, that'll stop the heat a bit. It's a Diablo sausage. So it's a Diablo spicy, sausage. Spicy sausage. Pick, pick the butter. Start chopping away. Get all ready, man. Do you know what? Back to basics. Back to being a child again. There you go. That's the hammer. Three minutes. Oh. Feel the heat? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Just for my viewers now, I'm just starting to, um, not quite panic stage yet, but it's like, I feel like I'm just about still in control. I'm looking at the milk now. It's all about the milk. It's, oh Christ. Yeah. I think the best thing you did there was pick it up and just knock it through. Coming up the hard It's way. burning my face. Let's get some bread. Oh, yeah. That's our point. So I'm going to do seven minutes. Yeah, about three and a half minutes. And then wait three minutes for the milk. Yep, you got it. So I'm trying to work it out in my head <laughs> before I can have any milk. Um, <sighs> sausage. Uh, trying to explain it, okay, trying to explain it to my viewers now. Uh, I'm trying to be able to talk. Lips are burning, mouth burning, just about in control. Just about there, just about all on to this now. Um, nose is running, I don't want to pull out my nose. Ah. 
Right, let's go in for the thumbnail. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get a thumbnail in for this video, so. Yeah. Before you start stabbing yourself with that fork, it's got a break in it. Use that one. Get it out, man. Three, three forks in. You do the best thing to pick it up, pick it up and knob into it. Five Just minutes. struggling. Five minutes. With two minutes left, that means you've got to go speedy in there. I'm not going to do it, am I? You will if you pick it up and knob into it. This is the Dante's experience oh. the divine comedy. Oh, blimey. The, the descent into hell. This is this is hell, and this lasts what three hours? Something like that, hey, wait. Oh. <laughs> <I got Listen. coughs> it's a bit like divine comedy because pain. your pain is our pleasure. About a minute left. Just cough back. Cough back a bit of chili there and it made it worse. Um, there's a beach. There's a beach over the other side. I'm gonna go for a walk on a beach after this. Oh. I'm not sure if I can do any more. That's 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 insane. Yeah. Absolutely insane. Oh. Oh. My nose is running. Have some, have some tissue. You only get two. You only get two. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A few seconds oh. Sorry, I've never blown my nose. Oh, it's gone to put my nose. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mind your eyes. Oh, it's gone. It's gone back through my nose, blowing my nose. Oh, oh blow me. I don't know what's worse. Dribbling. Is that it? That's the time. Man, I look. Well done, mate. Good effort. Oh. Somebody had that in 5 minutes 50, actually. The whole hot dog. Yeah, yeah. that's 47. Big out. Wash your hands before you go to the toilet. <laughs> so I'm going to wait 3 minutes. I'm going to wait 3 minutes now for the... For the milk. Um, Simon, let's, let's do the, the, the hardest interview I've ever done <laughs> in, my, in my life. Okay. Uh, Simon. So how many of these challenges have you done? Me, personally, none. I've learned my lesson years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, what to ask next? Where do you get the chilies from? Um, the main supply of chilies from Malawi, from Africa. Anything within the Ecuadorian belt, you get a better quality of chilli because it gets more sun. More sun means more capsaicin, which is more pain. Right, okay, okay. Yours is going to carry on going and creep up a bit more as well. Just... My mouth is on fire. My, my right. lips, everything, my nose. Cough, bring it. The, the cough was bad because it brought it up into the throat. Blowing my nose was probably the worst thing I could have done. Any bodily functions you're doing while doing this is going to hurt you. <sighs> and I'm screaming for the milk. Absolutely screaming for the milk. Tell me, what's the difference? Because I did something similar with the... Uh... Oh, I can't talk. I did some pizza, Morrison's pizza thing. That was okay, nothing on this. But I drank beer. And the, the comments in the comments box are saying the worst you can do is drink beer because it's just passing it around the mouth. If you can imagine a chip pan fire, right? Capsaicin <sighs> is the heat element of chili. That's oil based. So yeah. if you think of a chip pan fire, if you pour water or fluids onto a, onto a chip pan fire, it goes everywhere. You've yeah. seen the videos, haven't you? Yeah. That's all you're doing is spreading the capsaicin around the rest of your receptors in your mouth. Okay. You can't actually hit. So anything dairy, butter, milk, ice cream. And that's, why is that, why is that calming it down? It'll emulsify the oil. Right, okay. Not too much. It'll take yeah. a little while still, but it'll give you some little bit of relief. A little bit of relief. Okay, the stomach now is... The, the stomach's cramping now, but I want to... I'm, I'm, part of this was to carry on with some kind of interview afterwards. That was my determination. If I didn't eat the hot dog, get some kind of interview in. 
So where are you going for me? Are you going to branch out this this hot? Um, we're not, in, we're not in. We're sausage revolution. We're not in hot diggity dog. <laughs> sausage revolution. What's your plans for sausage revolution? Plans for this one. We're going to move <sighs> the factory down here, hot diggity dog. Then we're going to bump in the next door, yeah. send in the restaurant, carry on doing tapas in the evenings on a Saturday and a Friday night. Yeah. So you won't get any takeaway stuff, but it'll be Cuban starters. You'll have a gazpacho soup, a pina palette, then a Cuban main, <coughs> and a Cuban dessert. Uh, once that's set up, we're looking for another two or three in South Wales, and then potentially, hopefully, touch wood franchise. Franchise it out. Yeah. Franchise, I think this challenge, I, um, I challenge anybody in the UK, South Wales area, um, postcode, give a postcode for this place. Charlie Foxtrot 63, 3 Romeo Foxtrot. If you go on to Facebook and type in The Sausage Revolution, you'll <sighs> find us, send us a message, feel free to come down and try. Come down, <laughs> try this. I challenge anybody who's watching this video to come down and try this. It's the hottest thing I have ever done in my life. I cannot explain what my stomach's doing now. Can I give you a bit of information there? Yeah. Put your toilet paper in the fridge tonight. Uh, can I have some paper now? Your three minutes is up, but you could have had it when you failed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's the trick. He's evil. Okay. That's uh, the older brother of the Twiglet. So, ah, uh, Christ. So local business, how many employees do you have? Uh, at the moment we've got eight employees, uh, four at the factory, four down here in the Revolution. Yeah. Uh, as I said, soon soon to bring the uh, Hot Diggity Dog factory downstairs, uh, upstairs, sorry, in here, so we'll have everything in one building, so it's a one-stop shop. Oh, I mentioned your pain is my pleasure. Oh, that's, I tell you, the stomach pain is insane. Yeah, the good. cramps, I, it's, it's a bit of pain, a bit of cramp, but I'm normally I've got an iron stomach. I've never, nothing's ever affected me like this before. Nothing. Now you've got a kettle stomach, or any other household instrument you like. Or the washing machine. That's a good one. <coughs> Chuck it in the washing machine. Um, the milk, the milk's made it. Oh, I got some ice cream. This will do it right then. Will it? Yeah. Oh. Smear on your lips. Sub Zero ice cream. Another Welsh brand. Great yeah. ice cream. We serve that here in the restaurant. I'll put a link in the description box of the video for Hot Diggity Dog. Can I have some of your products to show off on the camera? Can I have a little, because I came down to see Simon just before Christmas. I had an ITV TV thing going on. I come down to see Simon. Um, I showed it on ITV. Unfortunately, they didn't, they didn't show it on their clip, but as you know, with television, they can film for six hours. They can show two minutes, can't yeah, they, with exactly. television. Um, some of this stuff you can pick up, you can pick this stuff up, it's the little uh, hot original sauce and he gave me about six or seven of these did Simon and I just whack it on my bolognese and if you like a spicy bolognese whack it on it's brilliant isn't it? Yeah and if you want baked beans, curry, soup, <sighs> if you want any heat in there then you probably don't want any more heat but yeah. Uh, I want to mention at this stage of the review as well this is not a sponsored video, um, Simon is not, uh, it's not paid for at all. It's a challenge I wanted to take part in. It's a local business. I want to support a local business. Um, in the future, uh, we want to talk about doing, because Simon's going for a license, an alcohol license over here. <sighs> oh. We're going to do some beer pairing nights. Yes, um, that'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. Let's see if we get some Cuban beers. And local beers. Uh, some local beers. We've got a local brewery just across the way. Um, Very good Morgan Brew, just two doors down from your chili factory. Um, and yeah, maybe we can look, get some local beers in and, and, and do some good nights. So, so maybe look out for that as well, the beer, the beer paired in nights at, at Sausage Revolution. Okay, I think I'm done. Uh, I'm going to go away and cry now. But thank you, thank you very much. Uh, my pleasure, mate. My pleasure. Simon, that was absolutely awesome. Well, thank you very much to everybody here today. There's about four people took part in this channel, so give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Cheers. Stop the crows.